Actually, looked through the town hall, the old records and everything, checked on the birth house or birth place, and so he got a mark on the house in 1974. From that he started the, a little one-man collection in here, which was only tiny, it wasn't big like it is now. Uh, and then Loy came from America, she's living in a place called Tezan in Hollywood. Now that's a lady that lived there called Miss Clark. Now Miss Clark, a couple of years after this event, she died. So that meant all of this furniture up this end and through next door was all going to be scrapped and chucked away on the old rubbish tip and build in like that idea a bit so he got it and brought it into his collection mm -hmm. and uh, so then he based his collection presumably I won't hear them he based his collection around what the furniture aspect you see so lots of letters here written by Stanley pictures of Stan down there with his grandma and that uh, and uh, in the backyard of the house with his granny. There is uh, Stan travelling out with Charlie Chaplin in 1910. Uh, and this is a guy that took over. He was a well to do airline pilot, this guy. Anyway, Nico Moritz gave us an extension uh, money towards our extension here. That's Nico Moritz. And so we knocked through this big thick wall here, five foot. Oh, and there were 5,000 people here in 1990. Took about nine years of planning. How oh, it came into it. The, the uh, hat there is actually worn by Stan, and that was actually given to us by a man that's up on the wall here. Um, now, the man in the middle, he actually, uh, this gentleman on the right hand side, he was a stage door manager in Liverpool and he appeared with Stan. The man in the centre was the owner, sadly he died five years ago now, but he donated the hat on that day after the parade, which was very, very nice. Uh, he had a daughter, this chap, he called Harry, uh, Harry Smirk, he ran a theatre in Markham and he's di he died, his daughter went to post. Did it? Yeah, would you believe? Something like that, if it had gone missing, it had been gone forever, you see. So, the the piano here, uh, it's from Sans House, are actually from Romania. Uh, they were given to us because a lady went out to Romania and she was helping uh, the orphans out in Romania because that Ceausescu bloke was giving them one bad time. So, she returned to England Unbeknown to her, there was a Long Army Museum, and we went on and we were advertising the museum, and so she actually donated these. To, she took note of the address and she donated these to the museum and brought them up here. Like to know a week in advance anything they did. They come over and uh, stop there in in this little apartment. So that's. Uh, it's not good, I don't think. I mean, but. I don't have a speaker,